All right, we're going to do something a little bit different on today's episode of Mark Souls. We're going to be running through chapters 2 and 3 of what's arguably the best Titanfall 2 mission called Effect and Cause, where you get this little device. Creates a very interesting mechanic that, honestly, if I have any one complaint about the Titanfall 2 campaign, which is one of the best first-person shooter campaigns ever made, is that there wasn't enough use of this item. You really just have it for this one level, and basically it allows you to switch between two timelines. The past, which is where we are right now, and the present, which is this. It allows you to not only get around doors... It allows you to use things for combat, like sneaking up on people. Um, go. Oh, uh, just ditched my R301, sorry. Or car, there we go. And a wingman. Yeah, let's get this. So as you can see, there's things that are destroyed in the present that are still intact in the past. And that allows you to sort of get around things in interesting ways. And sneak up on... Now, they're, they're not a whole lot of items in first-person shooters that are quite as creative as this. I can only honestly think of a two, and both of them are Valve games. There's um, Half-Life 2 has the gravity gun that uh, allows you to approach situations in kind of creative ways. Oh. And Portal, obviously, has the portal gun, which... Uh, whoa. Don't even know what just did that to me. Might have... And obviously Portal sort of designed its gameplay, whoa, almost entirely around its puzzle weapon. Whereas Half-Life 2 more uses it for some flavor in the middle of the game, but then you get the really powerful one at the end of the game that just fucking rocks. If you played Half-Life 2, you know what I'm talking about, the blue gravity gun. Now, for the record, I am playing on hard mode, so if I die, it's not entirely because I suck. It's only a little bit because I suck. But as you can see in this part, I'm not using the gravity gun to be quite so sneaky as before because of the enemies that are around here, um, there's enemies both in the present and the past, so you can't just use it to your advantage. You have to also be mindful that you might be warping into an area with maybe even stronger enemies. So I did recently go through this mission with a controller as well, um, just to kind of see how things work. And surprisingly, there's not a massive difference. Uh, both are both control schemes, keyboard, mouse, and controller, let you do nearly identical levels of acrobatics and sort of cool slide moves and double jumps and wall runs and if you've been playing Apex Legends and are are looking for something more in this universe and you have not played Titanfall 2 I, I just can't recommend enough that you buy this game give EA your 20 bucks or whatever the game costs now because I would really like them to see an uptick in Titanfall 2 sales as a result of Apex Legends, because it might give this game that really didn't didn't get a it didn't get a fair shake because mostly because of its release window. And I I think it's worth playing. I think it'll be worth your time. And I'm actually even willing to say that let's say I'll cap this at five. Well, cap this at five people, but. If you buy Titanfall 2, complete the campaign, show me your like endgame trophy that's dated after today, obviously, and say, yeah, I, like, Mark, I bought it, and I honestly didn't like it, I, I think it was a waste of my money, and a waste of my time, 
I will send you the money that you spent to buy Titanfall 2. So I'm, I'm capping that at five people doing it, and it will go honor system here, so don't abuse it, but I'm confident that if a bunch of you do buy Titanfall 2, get through the campaign, I honestly don't believe there's going to be even one person that says this was not worth the money, because it's a really, really great campaign. And it would be awesome if we got another Titanfall campaign at some point. Ooh, reload. There we go. Not that this ends on a massive cliffhanger or anything, it's just one of those things that you really wish they could have had the time to or the, the opportunity to tell more sto stories in in this world because it's it's a world that has a lot of interesting ideas in it and it, uh, opportunities for interesting gameplay mechanics like this time shifting device and there's a few other missions that have similar single mission use devices and the integration into how this, this one in particular both assists combat and platforming as you can see here blinking these platforms in and out of existence based on the timeline that we're in it's it's just really kind of cool creative stuff and honestly I, I would I would love a Titanfall DLC <laughs> that just creates an entire campaign around using this time shift device because it's just so awesome Oh, he did roll. Ah! Learn to keyboard mouse aim, kids. <laughs> it will save your life. <laughs> See a couple more interesting platforming opportunities here. Electrified in the past, but not in the present. Fire in the present, but not in the past. One platform in the past, one platform in the present. I have the ability to wall run, so let's do this. Eh, I probably don't need to again. This floor is on fire in the past, not on fire in the present. I could extend this bridge. Or I could do it the Titanfall way. I'm willing to bet you're start of seeing the solutions to these puzzles <laughs> in your brain as I'm coming across them because... Oh! <laughs> I should be paying more attention. Luckily I was close to a checkpoint, but... That was a skill error, not a brain error. <laughs> There we go. Um, and as with Apex Legends, no fall damage. Not something you ever have to worry about in this game. This damn thing was just a test. One of our own planets is next. They're going to hit Harmony. And they moved up the timeline. I have to get this intel to Sarah. So they're gonna use those halos to destroy the flood and all the galaxy. That's cannon. Judo kick. That was Major Anderson's final recording. Cooper, based on your recon of this facility, I may have a plan. Meet me outside. Time to go catch BT outside. He's our Optimus Prime-esque Titan buddy. Always unload a full mag into killer robots. Trust me on this. Take a word of the cyborg. It, uh, we'll keep coming. <laughs> So the uh, mercenary group that just attacked Major Anderson there is known as the Apex Predators, and what I've been able to gather as far as the connection in universe between Apex Legends oh, and Titanfall 2 is that the Apex Predators use the Legends, let's say, game show, for lack of a better way of putting it, as a challenge 
so which they can figure out who belongs in their organization or not. Oh, and kill myself with my own grenade. <laughs> think two steps ahead, kids. Always think two steps ahead. <laughs> If you're just looking at the step in front of you, you're going to miss the fact that your own grenade might blow you up and that it's hard mode so you don't have a whole lot of wiggle room in that respect. Oh! And then you respawn in people's shields. <laughs> Sorry about this. Again, I have my experience with Let's Playing is limited. And now I can't shoot. Oh. Oh shit! Situational awareness, everybody. That's three deaths. Okay, th this is gonna be the one. Promise. I'm gonna do it for you guys. Whoever's watching there, I don't know who it's gonna be really, but if I knew who you were right now, you, the person listening, this run is for you. Ah. I did check my mag there too. I thought the six rounds would be enough, but my shot was off. I think I've had it with these robots. I've thinned them out enough that I can get to where I need to go. Here's someone coming from over here. There you are. Uh, let's go auto shotgun. Why not? Oh, the robot's still coming out to me. Oh, got a Titan. Oh boy. Ah! Might be touch and go here. Can't promise I won't die. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, we're nearing the end of the mission. Just gonna get myself back to my Titan. See if he can help me out. Oh shit! Now oh, I'm rodeo attacking this one. Oh god. Yep, <laughs> that rodeo attack was done at an inopportune time and not what I intended to do at all. So let's uh, try to not do that this time, shall we? Rodeo attacks are very handy in multiplayer, not super handy in single player when you're trying to get past that. Oh, that's a titan that I know. Boom. couple snippets of Titan gameplay for you, but I knew I just had to move close to this arc. See? For this super cool matrixy bullet time still frame eye candy moment. 
And of course it wouldn't be Titanfall if it didn't use this eye candy moment for a little jumping puzzle. And that's pretty much bringing us to the end of this little uh, Mark Souls Let's Play. So uh, if you enjoyed this content, then uh, let me know and I'll, I'll try to do more stuff like this from time to time. And if you hated it and think my voice is annoying and would rather just watch the straight up gameplay like I normally do, um, let me know that too and I'll see if I can figure it out. Figure out what should be happening moving forward. Well done, pilot. Scan complete. As Anderson discovered, the IMC intend to destroy the militia planet of Harmony using the full-scale version of this weapon. Pilot Cooper, our journey is far from over. We must get this data to the fleet. And that'd be that. Thanks for watching.